everyone, Dr. Samina Mitha here, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about acne and something called N-acetylcysteine. This is a really nice antioxidant that we've seen in the research that can help with various symptoms of PCOS. So I'm going to dive into that today, but first let's talk about what is PCOS. We know it's a hormonal disorder that can impact women in various ways. Um, it is also a syndrome, as the name says, as the name says, so polycystic ovarian syndrome, meaning it's a collection of traits and findings and generally that are kind of seen together. However, you don't have to have all the traits in the syndrome to be diagnosed with PCOS, which is why it makes this syndrome so unique. Um, we do know that in the research that about 10 to 35 or 34, sorry, percent of women with PCOS will have acne. And so let's talk a little bit about what causes acne and PCOS. The biggest cause of acne and PCOS is higher levels of androgens, which is testosterone. And these are actually seen, so testosterone is actually seen in the glands of your skin that produce more oil known as sebum. And when sebum and dead skin cells kind of build up inside hair follicles. That's where we see the bacteria being trapped beneath the skin, and that's where we start to see cystic acne develop. Typically, cystic acne will be seen in the jawline, in the chin area, and then sometimes on the chest and the upper back. This is very um, significant of um, showing us that testosterone levels are causing, higher levels of testosterone levels are actually causing the acne. So in terms of treatment, one of the really nice antioxidants that we can use, because we know that it's coming from this inflammatory process, is N-acetylcysteine. N-acetylcysteine is, is actually known as an amino acid. And it's a powerful antioxidant, actually is a precursor to glutathione, one of our most important antioxidants for the liver. And what it does is it helps to combat um, oxidative stress in the body. So oxidative stress is basically another word for inflammation. And it can actually damage cells, protein, and DNA. So, you know, acne in PCOS is really driven by that inflammatory process by androgens. And so N-acetylcysteine has actually been shown to reduce and help treat acne in PCOS because of the fact that it can actually reduce certain inflammatory cytokines. These are chemical messengers that cause inflammation in the body. One unique thing about N-acetylcysteine was that in the research, we've actually seen that it's more than just an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory agent. Um, it's actually been shown to reduce testosterone levels and support regular menstrual cycles in women with PCOS. We also do see that it reduces insulin as well. So really nice antioxidant that can help PCOS all in terms of all aspects of what we experience. The recommended dose for N-acetylcysteine is about 1,800 milligrams per day. Um, so I encourage you to speak to your healthcare provider before taking N-acetylcysteine and figuring out the right dose for you. Some other considerations for acne when we're treating acne and PCOS is diet. Diet is so important and removing um, inflammatory foods there can be really helpful in treating, in treating PCOS-related acne. This is primarily sugar products that can cause inflammation. You also want to consider food sensitivity, so dairy products or even gluten products that be, could be causing uh, a sensitivity, increasing inflammation in the body. Making sure you're hydrated and then also reducing things like trans fats in the diet is also important. Second thing you really want to consider is personal hygiene, so really making sure you're washing your face regularly um, and not trying not to pick or pop the pimples um, that can result in scarring. And other supplements that we consider when we're talking about acne and PCOS are antioxidants, so vitamin A, C, E, selenium, and zinc, uh, omega-3 fish oil, uh, probiotics, and also berberine, which is a herb that also helps with insulin resistance and managing blood sugar and higher levels of cholesterol in PCOS. 
um, but it's a, actually an anti-inflammatory agent and also helps to treat cystic acne. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below and I'll see you in the next video.